Let's assemble our Galileo scope. First, take it out of the box, nice and gentle. Read the provided instruction manual. For the purposes of this demonstration, the eyepieces have already been assembled and the bare lure lens will not be used. Steps 11, 12, and 13, as well as 16 through 22 will not be demonstrated. These V-shaped pieces are for you to have as supports for the assembly. Next, we insert the objective lens. The hexagonal nut is for possible mounting of your Galileo scope on a tripod. Next, we assemble the focuser. It will be these two smaller tube pieces. Notice their smooth end. You first need to put this ring on them. And then join the two pieces together with some rubber rings. Make sure the rings fit into the grooves at both ends. Insert the focuser loosely, halfway at the narrow end of the main tube. Place the main tube second half on the first one carefully so that it tightly fits the objective lens. And then tighten the narrow end with this ring. Use the main clamp ring in the front to secure the front end. You are almost done.
you have two pre-assembled eye pieces. One which will give you a right side up image, but with lower magnification. And the other one that will give you an upside down image, but greater magnification. Insert these into the focuser. And then observe through a distant object and to focus it for your eye, just gently slide the focuser outwards or inwards until you get a sharp image. Once you're done with one lens, experiment with the other. Make sure never to touch the lens directly with your fingers as it will smudge up the lens. Once you are done observing, make sure to disassemble the Galileo scope in reverse order of the steps you have taken. making sure you still have all the pieces. and carefully return everything to the box. To avoid any surprises, make sure you know which way is right side up. Mm -hmm. 